hello friends welcome back and in this tutorial we are going to learn a new topic that is fluid pressure so let's begin with it topics which we are going to cover today are fluid pressure definition units of pressure measurement third is compressibility fluid static law which is also called as hydrostatic law and along with it one more law which is pascal's law so friends let's get started with the definition of fluid pressure in simple words it is the amount of force acting per unit area let's consider the example of water tank a and b both are having same water storage capacity but height and diameter of both the tank is different now when we fill up both these tanks completely then due to the weight of water inside the tank amount of force that is going to be exerted on the bottom of the tank will be different now the question is how to measure this force exerted by water and the answer to this question is pressure that is the definition we have learned states that pressure is equal to force acting per unit area so even though the water storage capacity of both the tanks are same pressure exerted at the bottom will be different this is due to the bottom area of the tank and height of the water is different in each tank So let's see one more example of how pressure varies with the change in area. Here you can see there is one block which is filled with some fluid. In first case it is kept in horizontal position and in second case it is kept vertical. Now since it is same block weight is going to remain the same only. Area of bottom is going to vary. so the pressure at the bottom in first case is 1000 pascal and for second case it is 10 times higher that is 10000 pascal now we will move ahead and see how to measure this pressure that is what are the units used for pressure measurement so the standard unit for pressure is pascal as per the definition let's put the unit for each term so the unit for force is newton and unit for area is meter square so 1 pascal is equal to 1 newton per meter square there are few more units of pressure which are used commonly those are bar and psi 1 bar is equal to 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square and 1 psi is equal to 6895 that is 6895 newton per meter square now compressibility so it is one of the important parameter which describes the relationship between pressure and volume we all know when we apply the pressure on fluid the volume of fluid changes best example of this is when we try to squeeze a balloon filled up with air its shape gets changed so this property of fluid to change the volume when applied pressure on it is known as compressibility This term is expressed by the bulk modulus of elasticity and formula of bulk modulus of elasticity is change in pressure divided by change in volume Now before learning the fluid static law that is hydrostatic law we will see one more one experiment that is if we are having a container 
which is completely filled with the water and then if we place an object in this container and try to measure the pressure exerted upon the object it varies now we will change the depth and place the object more deeper inside the fluid again the pressure exerted is different if we perform the same experiment in the container filled with different fluid and by placing the object at same depth as that of earlier uh, container still the pressure record, uh, recorded is different with the different kind of fluid so why this happened and answer is pressure exerted on object depends upon not only the depth of the object but density of fluid above the object and the depth inside depth of the object inside the container so as per the fluid static law or hydrostatic law more the dense the fluid above the object pressure exerted will also be more and same time more deeper the object inside the container pressure will be more so the formula for pressure measurement is rho g h where rho is the density of liquid g is the acceleration due to gravity and h is the depth of the object inside the liquid and now we will move on to the last topic of this session that is pascal's law as we have seen that how much the pressure is exerted on the object when dipped inside the liquid but what about the direction of pressure this law talks about the direction of pressure intensity that is that it states that the pressure intensity inside the liquid at any point in fluid is equal in all direction this law can be found in the operation of hydraulic jacks hydraulic lifts and motor vehicle braking system so according to pascal's law when pressure is exerted on an enclosed and incompressible fluid that pressure is transmitted transmitted throughout the fluid so friends this was all about fluid pressure and i hope whatever we have learned today is clear to you but still if you are having any doubts please comment below and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such video tutorial thank you for watching